Hello everyone, and welcome back to Iraqi Dinao News. Hope you're all doing well and staying up to date. Today, we have a lot of exciting news on the latest developments surrounding the Iraqi Dinao exchange, some new updates on exchange centers, the potential introduction of new banknotes, and much more. In this video, we'll break down reports from well-known analysts and intel sources like Mark Zed, Frank26, Pimpy, Militiaman, and other experts. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of what's happening with the Iraqi dinar, the US dollar exchange rate in Iraq, and what may be coming next for investors and Iraqi citizens alike. Let's dive in. 1. Sami's Insight. Exchange centers ready for action. First up, Mr. Sami reported that starting mid-November, large Iraqi dinar notes might finally be exchangeable for lower denominations. He says new exchange centers are opening up, allowing citizens to exchange their 30,000 IQD notes. This development could be a game-changer, especially if it signifies a broader monetary reform. Sami mentioned that citizens from neighboring countries, like Iran, are now allowed to exchange their dinar notes. According to him, this could be Iraq's first step toward implementing a currency plan that enables smaller denominations to be distributed widely across the nation. As a major piece of news, this hints at a transition to an economy where smaller, more valuable notes circulate, a sign of an improving dinar. Frank 26 even expressed surprise that the process had already begun, as he previously anticipated it would take longer for Iraq to reach this stage. 2. Firefly's Exchange Experience – Modernizing Currency in Iraq Our next insight comes from Firefly, who shared details about the centers currently accepting old, worn-out 30,000 IQD notes. As of now, the centers are only swapping old notes with new, crisp versions of the same denomination, without introducing any lower denomination notes just yet. This move, according to Firefly, is seen as a stepping stone for bigger changes on the horizon. Frank26 echoed Firefly's observations, calling this exchange Step A precursor to broader monetary reform. The reasoning here, Frank argues, is that Iraq is subtly preparing its citizens for the possibility of lower denominations in circulation, which could align with Iraq's desire to rein in inflation and gradually boost the dinar's international purchasing power. 3. Guru Rayren 98's Exciting Hint at Big Changes Guru Rayren 98, another well-respected voice in the dinar community, shared a recent phone call he received from a contact within a three-letter agency. Although his source did not give him an exact timeline, Ray Ren 98 says there are major developments just around the corner. According to Ray Ren, we could see these changes materialize very soon, with possible positive effects on the dinar's value. This update, coming from someone as respected in the community as Ray Ren 98, has led to heightened anticipation among investors, who see it as a sign that things could accelerate as we approach the end of 2024. 4. Pimpy, US dollar's decline in Iraq and its impact. Guru Pimpy, known for his keen eye on Iraq's economic health, recently highlighted a notable decline in the US dollar's exchange rate within Iraq. According to Pimpy, the dollar rate recently dropped from 1,317.5 IQD per USD to approximately 1,497.5 IQD per USD. He considers this a very positive sign for the Iraqi dinar, as a lower dollar value in Iraq often signifies a push for greater dinar demand and usage within the local economy. Pimpy believes this shift signals an underlying movement towards strengthening the Iraqi dinar and may foreshadow a stronger valuation on the global stage soon. 5. Walking Sticks Update Iraq's Hybrid Monetary Plan in Action Next, we have updates from Guru Walking Stick. Walking Stick mentioned that Iraqi officials are now providing citizens with information about what's being termed a hybrid monetary plan. This plan, while not entirely detailed yet, seems to be focused on creating a smoother transition for the dinar to become more internationally accepted. Walking Stick says the government is taking an incremental approach to strengthen citizens' confidence in the dinar, making sure the country is prepared for any potential changes in exchange rates or the reintroduction of lower denominations. Such an approach, according to Walking Stick, is vital to ensure that the population understands the new monetary policies and that the transition will benefit both citizens and the economy as a whole. 6. Militiamen's Concern, Revenue Loss and Oil Production Turning to Militiamen's latest update, he raised a significant issue regarding Iraq's finances. He pointed out that Iraq is reportedly losing billions every month due to factors like reduced oil production and questionable budgeting. Militiamen emphasized that Iraq must carefully evaluate its assets, particularly its substantial oil reserves, as a primary support for its economy and currency. 
He questioned Iraq's approach to handling oil revenues and whether they are being appropriately invested to boost the dinar. Militiamen also hinted that Iraq's upcoming 2024 budget might contain clues on the dinar's future valuation, particularly if it includes measures to align the dinar with other global currencies. 7. Mars. Iraq's path to full sovereignty and financial autonomy. Finally, Intel Guru Mars reported an important update on Iraq's sovereignty, stating that the country has recently approved a security sector reform implementation plan. Mars believes that this plan represents a major step toward removing the United Nations security mission from Iraq, marking Iraq's return to full independence. Full sovereignty would not only mean political autonomy but could also create an economic environment that's ripe for international investors. According to Mars, once Iraq attains full sovereignty, the country's financial markets and the dinar will benefit immensely. International investors, who often shy away due to Iraq's political constraints, may start to pour capital into the country, increasing the demand and potential valuation for the dinar. 8. Marx's Thoughts on Lower Denominations Max Ed, another trusted voice in the currency community, weighed in on the recent talks about introducing lower denominations for the Iraqi dinar. He shared that he views this move as a long-awaited step that could enhance the dinar's value. Max Ed believes that lowering denomination values would signify Iraq's readiness to position the dinar as a powerful, stable currency both domestically and internationally. Max Ed is convinced that introducing lower denominations will lead to increased purchasing power for Iraqis, adding that these changes will only bolster Iraq's economic stability. He also noted that as we get closer to November, expectations are building for what these new exchange centers might mean for the dinar's exchange rate, particularly if larger notes are phased out in favor of smaller, higher value notes. 9. Melanie's Article Insights – Iraq's Economic Growth In a recent article by financial expert Melanie, she highlighted Iraq's substantial economic growth potential. Melanie points out that Iraq's young workforce, combined with its abundant natural resources, sets the country on a promising trajectory for future prosperity. However, she warns that the road to economic success is complex, requiring careful policy planning and strategic investments, particularly in sectors beyond oil. Melanie's article further underscores the importance of a well-managed currency. She argued that a stronger Iraqi dinar, backed by a diversified economy, could lead to increased investor confidence. In her view, reforms like introducing lower denominations and pushing for full sovereignty will further integrate Iraq into the global economy, making the dinar more competitive against other currencies. What these developments mean for the dinar's future. Looking at all this information together, it's clear that Iraq is making strides toward currency reform. New exchange centers, lower denominations, and international support suggest a commitment to strengthening the dinar's value. These steps could create a more secure economic environment for Iraq, paving the way for a potentially higher dinar valuation and increased international appeal. The recent trends also show that Iraq is eager to secure its position as a self-reliant, economically stable country. The initiatives to reduce dependence on the US dollar, diversify its economy, and attract foreign investors are all encouraging indicators that the dinar is on an upward trajectory. It's a promising time for dinar holders, who are closely watching these developments and hoping for favorable outcomes. Final thoughts and summary. In summary, we are seeing several indicators that Iraq is taking a calculated approach to revalue its currency. Mr. Sammy's news on the exchange centers, Firefly's insight on note replacements, Rayren 98's insider hint, Pimpy's analysis on the declining dollar, Walking Stick's commentary on the hybrid monetary plan, Militiaman's concerns on revenue, and the sovereignty updates from Mars. All these updates collectively point toward a potential economic shift. Thank you for tuning in to Iraqi Dinao News. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Dinar. Let us know your thoughts on today's updates in the comments below, and feel free to share this video with friends and family to keep them in the loop. Stay tuned, everyone, and we'll catch you on the next one.